Welcome everyone to the third video episode. And for audio listeners, this is your 143rd episode. Yeah, I'm surprised myself I've done this much. Admittedly, I said I quit after 100. No, I still got the juice to keep on going because it's just more people. I underestimate how this humble podcast can reach very interesting people. People just think I'm making up. You think I'm making fairy tales? Well, this person, if I tell you, if I describe this person, you might think he's fictional, but he's real. He's very, very real. Okay. And he's going to bring us some high, highly profound things that I believe we humans should, should be aware of because I do sense that we're losing our identity more and more as if we are so, we are so tied in to the machine to the profit, to all the other stuff. And one way he does it, which I'm just really, 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 really just touch the tip of the iceberg, is through art. You got a podcast as well. Let's welcome Michael. Oh, Lord. Magrooch. Magrooch. Oh, Magrooch. 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 Ilaz, good to see you. <laughs> right. I knew I was going to mess that one up. Oh, well, it's there. We are humans. We are humans. Yeah, Never yeah. forget that. We are not perfect. We are by nature not perfect, but because that's why we need each other. If we are perfect, we don't need each other. So we are one human family, you know? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure even God intends that as well. So that one, that one's definitely aligned with the Bible. Um, despite all the fighting and the killing and the dysfunctionality we have brought to this <laughs> earth. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, just to put it mildly, but I don't want to get too biblical here. Uh, so let's start off with what inspired you? I, I like to know what gets your gears going. Because people could just, you could just say, ah, fuck it, who cares? Let the world burn. Let me just kill myself. I have no purpose. Who cares, right? What inspired you to bring a message of human awareness and even creative creativity and awareness yeah what so i had everything i had everything to do what you said just kill myself and let it go i was a sick child i was born in vienna austria I was a sick child i went to school when i was seven they helped me back and i got this the second punch in the face i uh i couldn't understand anything i couldn't regurgitate i couldn't read i stuttered i um found that I was and the and the diagnosis at that time was they did some tests and they said okay you're dyslexic but that was 40 40 years ago where you switch uh, things in your you know you you read uh, r e e r uh, you 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 read differently and you just can't it's like also a little bit ADHD you can focus on stuff and you can definitely not regurgitate but on the same spectrum of uh, kids that are very system relevant they can super read super understand or they can read and super uh, uh write so um it, it's 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 an enigma still even though everybody talks about neurodiversity but it is a it is a um i think it's a perception and contextual uh perspective of humanity so meaning I'm very good in in uh, co context and perspective, meaning I'm not good in the details. I'm not good into mathematics, uh, accounting. Uh, I'm more on the creative side, uh, you know, to understand. Also, where I start blooming, where I start get the passion is when there is a problem. When there is a problem nobody can solve, I love to. That's why I'm, a, you know, a creativity awareness educator and also a strategist. Uh, I, I look. I love problems that are not solvable. Uh, it it makes my it makes me function. Uh, and and actually, when I look back at that, that I didn't fit in, I was conditioned to do this because I could never fit in. I couldn't fit into work. I mean, they once I couldn't do the school anymore. You know, repeat classes because in Europe you have to repeat the grade. I was just the system just said, okay, we can't help you. Go get a job. I got a job in hospitality, but then uh, what saved me was art, art creation, meaning 
uh, music. Uh, I was a DJ, sold tapes out of my trunk, uh, was a um, fashion show producer, was uh, in advertising, and everything was creative, creatively uh, related and actually helped me survive. So when, when I was 30, I looked at my resume and I said, oh, my God, all my jobs were creative. So I can't wait for the system to say, oh, I'm a, Michael is an artist. I had to, I had to uh, realize I, I couldn't have done anything else. So I deemed myself an artist. And I think that was very important. That didn't wait for other people to say, you know, once you're Leonardo da Vinci, then you were an artist. Because I called myself an artist. And I talked since then with a lot of artists. And um, they still feel uncomfortable calling themselves an artist. Because that's what inherently they are. They have an easy thing to create. And also we are by nature a collaborative creator animal. That's our thing. That's why we can create on Earth our habitats in midst of nature, like New York, Singapore. We like to collaborate. Um, Google wasn't created by one person or two. It was a collaborative effort, you know. So, so we want to create. And when we can't create podcast, whatever, you know, tinkering around, we get crazy. That's why the the CEO that works 60 hours a, a, a week in a corner office with a white shirt on the weekend, he gets dirty and talks, you know, twi 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 tweaks his car, a uh, hot rod or something, or, or goes in the garden and do some, or is with humans. So all these things we need to rebalance, rebalance to nature, you know, uh, because the, the most powerful power is balance. It's not going to the edge Till we have done every nickel have gotten and then it gets us in a thing but because we totally ignored humans or totally ignored what we actually sell and then it comes to a collapse or war or a, a pandemic or a crisis so that's where my that's my background and that's where um, i got my passion you asked that was the question i got my passion from your the war. drive and your purpose all yeah. of that so th that's that's very very phenomenal i mean what I learned recently, I'm in my early 30s. I am a balanced person. I'm not as systematic as I thought I was. I'm also not as creative. Says so I'm a little bit of both. I'm a well balanced person. Perfect. So, uh, and on that regard, I mean, in other, in other areas, I'm I'm in balance. Obviously, I mean, I'm human afterwards. Like you say, we are imperfect by nature. That's yep. intended by design. Uh, yeah, I personally find out. Yeah, I'm a, I. I like solving problems in a systemic way. And then once the systems do not work, then I put on a more creative hat. So, okay, mm -hmm. the systems are not working. One, two, three is not solving problem A. Maybe I have to think um, definitely outside um, the bounds that I normally think. So that's why I shift my thinking to the creative side. I mean, by default, I like to use more system thinking because I'm going to be, I'm calling myself out. I'm a little, I like to be mentally lazy. I don't like to use my brain. I let the mm -hmm. system figure. I say, yeah, let me just do the system, figure it out. But nope. But when it comes to a problem that cannot be solved with routine solutions, then of course I have to come up with a different approach, wear a different hat, and shift my lens, my focus to somewhere else. So, what did it go wrong? And just let the it just let my brain just think very freely instead of just trying to mold it into the system. Mold, yeah, to control the thoughts versus then you let it in your six senses. You let. Yeah. You let, uh, which actually all humans function on the six senses. We don't function out of a, a mind construct. If we would, we would solve all the problems in the world tomorrow. But mind never gets you out. It gets you what is your environment. And then adapting to that, there's the balance, the natural balance that we are part of, nature. So balance is in us. And we use it as ad by adapting. And so you go into that problem Obviously, a problem is linear, uh, a system problem. You try a linear uh, solution, right? And then the, the linear solution doesn't often work. And then you have to go into feelings of what is. And so what I do, this is my go-to. When I see a linear, I also do the same with you, well, like you. I try to do it linear thinking and said, okay, when this happens, this happens in the system. If I don't get anywhere with that, I shift and say, what is the human problem of that system the team doesn't work together 
the, the, the hierarchy is really disturbing. Um, there is no vision. What is the human? What do the humans want? What can I do to for the humans to be fulfilled while they contributing? And once you solve that, almost every time I haven't, I can't remember a time where it didn't work that the system problem solved itself. Because we are the humans that we are the gods of all the systems, so we can change it. And that's what about you? You said you look at the system; it doesn't work. You can change it, but. We, we, it's not in the system way. It's almost like you want to do racism. We want to solve racism. So Black Lives Matter, for example, gets us aware about that we are so far on the edge, but then we can't solve the equality problem, gender, race, sexuality, systemically. We have to go in the what will be by nature. By nature, everybody works together. Everyone is one family. And except there's mating season, animals don't even look at a woman or male. Whoever does the job, does the job. Whatever you can contribute is like in art. This is what's so powerful about art. Because it's not going by hierarchy that is wearing your life juice out. It is by togetherness, like a symphony orchestra. It's all these different people. And the and the guy has to do the lights. And uh, the theater, had, the, the curtain has to open. That's all important. It, there's no job that isn't important in a symphony orchestra. It's, there's no job. And you can have the best conductor and the best violinist. If the guy doesn't turn on the, the light, nobody can read the music. <laughs> you know, it's like you, you. everybody has to work in order to at the same time. Not like tomorrow, not like yesterday. Everybody has to in time right now. And that's the power of art, that art creation shows us what's humanly possible. And if we would apply art art creation more into the uh, linear systems like businesses and corporations, it would be a way better thing. And that's also not going by at eight from eight to five. You have to be flexible, you know? Oh, yes. I have, I have tried to put flexibility. That's why I'm not a more creative side because... You know, a problem in, well, I don't really deal with um, healthcare, but, you know, a problem is just going to pop up. It doesn't yeah. go, you know, the problem is not like a person's like, okay, let me wait for 9.15 just to discuss <laughs> things. <laughs> but the solution too, the solution yeah. doesn't come, come, oh, wait till 9 and 9 and you have the solution. It doesn't come right. like that. All yeah. right, solution could just be, could just pop up as soon as you clock out because your brain is free. Exactly. Boom. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, that has happened to me. It happens to everyone. Times. I mean, it happens, Elias, so it happens many times. to everyone. It happens to everyone. Yeah, I was just, I was gonna assume that was a normal thing because I'll say every other day, boom. I was like, oh, that's how could I just solve it? So it's just you're in the shower. The songs come in the shower, they're not coming when you're in nature, when you uh, eat your meal all of a sudden. When you lay down, all of a sudden you, you, you relax and mm -hmm. all this stuff can come in. You know, it's just, it comes when it comes and we have no power over this and we can't control it. We just have to surrender to it and adapt and just say, okay, but you let, have to trust humanity. Yeah. Yeah. Let it flow. Oh, that's the way I see it because that's like, yeah. oh, aha. Instead yeah. of just trying to. I don't want to rush, do things like exactly. panic, and exactly. you know, it's. I mean, I've, I've done, I've done both, so that's why I know which one works really well. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes the hard way. So, I think this is a decent transition to the second question. Uh, we already talked about this a little bit. How are we losing our human identity, our heritage? I know we be more molded to the systems just for profit control, put everybody in a certain box. Okay, Democrats over there, all you Republicans over there, or and you independents, and you yeah, got just go go somewhere. Who cares? I know. You're not with you know the feeling. Not I'm an independent. I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah, I'm a proud independent. You know, I just became so that's the best decision I ever made. I tried being a Democrat. I tried being a Republican. But afterwards was yeah both crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah both yeah. insane. You know, that's the thing is, you have eight, we talked about this, eight, eight billion people. Everybody is a one of one. How can you be on a binary uh, solution, either or? You, and that's, and, and you're forced in the system 
uh, in either or. So how do you define yourself as a Democrat doing this? How do you define yourself as a Republican doing that? But as you know, and everybody else knows, the Democrats are not the Democrats that we had before because systems are going, because humans are changing. So system has to have to follow. That's why it's so powerful to understand humans because you have to follow. So the Dems are not Dems. The Republicans are not Republicans. So we, and and but we have to kind of get the, uh, the narrative. We have to, and it holds on to the, system story of Republican versus, see, I look at politics and say this, why does two um, parties not look at what is the human need, not the systemic human need? What are, are humans upset? That they work 60% in, in America, live paycheck by paycheck. That is a systemic cost problem that affects humans. So, why don't we get clear on that? I mean, this is the richest country and the most, with the most possibilities. It's the most flexible still is. It's not as flexible as it was 40 years ago. And why can't we look and say, what is the human-centric problem uh, in America, for example? Let's just say in America. What is the problem that people, school shootings, uh, living paycheck by paycheck, and I think they're all interconnected. Uh, drug abuse. I think that's all a, a, a thing because we don't want to be honest and look at the what is the why. Why is that? We want to just have solution for quick wins. So if I'm just saying a little bandit for you, then I'm winning the next election or a promised false hope. The problem is we're not getting in reality. We're getting from we're getting system facts tweaking system, manipulating system facts with statistics. And then, ergo, from that, we create a false false mind construct in the future. So I say, if we do this, I can guarantee this is going to be. When has ever a system fulfilled the promises? Anywhere. Like you win the Oscar. You That doesn't mean you don't have to work and look for work anymore. As a matter of fact, I know because I'm from that bit from that business, you, you don't get a job because people think you're gonna ask for too much money. So when you say, Oh, when I'm on the cover of a magazine, which I did, when I get a, a, an exhibition at the and the and the, the, your life is gonna change, so people will, you know, when you get a million followers, you get four thousand dollars from Spotify, uh, when they, a million uh, downloads. That's more than followers. You get four thousand dollars, and that's it. You know how hard it is to get a song to a point where four where a million downloads you get. It's like a, or a, the viral video. Your life is not set because you have a you know you have a viral video. It's just it's all promises that false hope, and they say okay Elias did that or like or Kardashians did that. That's my my point. That's my goal. The goal is is you know when you look at goals, how false system goals are. Everybody talks about millions, right? Millions. Nobody talks about under millions. Oh, I want to just make a hundred thousand dollars. No, everything is a million, million, two million, billion. And this is system talk. This is not human talk. This is system talk. And what happens is, the lowest, the last person in the one top one percent. Of, of of earners, guess how much they make? Four hundred forty thousand dollars, not million. Even half, less than half, makes the last person in the top one percent of earners. Why don't we tell us? But system is interested in keeping lies afloat. Like it should be sunny every day, and if it's not, Elias, you know, we sell you a Ferrari, we sell you a face job, we sell you a pill. And then you come after half a year and say, yeah, it was great, the Ferrari and everything, you know, everybody's looking at me and all the stuff. I got all the outside validation, but I'm not really, I'm, I'm not, not, not much changed. And they say, oh, don't worry, allies. We sell you a, a Maserati and we sell you this, this, this. And you buy it and you come back. And then is what happened to me. Then the assistant says, sorry, we can help yourself. It's, there must be something uh, inherently wrong with you. 
And there is the system shame where we go to false uh, idols. You know, we get, uh, uh, we have this, uh, oh my God, if I could work for, uh, Apple is so much worse, uh, valuable than I am or Google or whatever. And you forget that humans created that and you're part of that. You just have to find your puzzle piece, but it's not going to be found in, in, it's not going to be found in systems. That's the, the 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 big thing. We need to tell ourselves the truth and look at life the human centric way, as that we are, uh, uh, you know, uh, a part of nature. And that's why we cannot save nature. We can save only our essential things of nature to survive: clean water, clean food, and uh, and oxygen. That's all we can. We cannot save the earth. We cannot save nature. And nature doesn't give a care. Yeah. It just goes on. Dinosaurs died out. Uh, X uh, generations of human extinguished themselves. So nature just keeps going on. We just can't kill ourselves. So we need to, but we don't even worry. We feel so bad about ourselves that we don't even worry. We feel so shamed that we're not good enough. That we should like be like everybody. We should be all Kardashians. We should be all Elon Musk. That's that's what we think, without knowing that they are not happier. It's about fulfillment of life, and fulfillment is that feedback loop that you are on your path. So what we have in the car podcasting, you know, and it's that's just, it's just it's, it's just insane insanity. It's yeah. like really defined this insane. That's why many are get insane. Because they want system relevance, you know? Right, right. And, and well, you're already, I'm sure you're aware that mental illness is through the roof right now as we speak. Yes. It's through and it's the bullshit. Roof. I had a talk today about mental illness. It's because mine is kind of also mental illness that I have. And I said, the reason is because, because system doesn't have, for example, for my dyslexia, the system had nothing to do with it. It couldn't, it's so limited because it takes patterns and supports the masses, right? So if I'm outside of the pattern in any way, shape or form, and I don't fit the pattern is, have you ever seen a human that is the same? I've never seen it. So how can you put a pattern on race, sexuality, gender, or, or, or anything? None of those. But how can you put a, 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 a classification on that and then just say, mm, you know, we don't have a place for you. We, you know, yep. you know, you're this, you're that. And, and, and that is that is that we, we lost our ways by believing that our creation, you know, it's the shiny objects in them are more valuable than us. Even though we created them, how can that work? How, we created AI, we created also, and we submit ourselves underneath and sacrifice our lives. War is the epitome. No no human wants to go into war. And if, you can go any research, no human, normal human being, not the leaders. I'm talking the leaders use it, they are disturbed themselves, but nobody wants to go at war. Nobody, everybody knows it's, it's the complete capitulation of humanity. And we keep going systemic wars and people sacrifice, good people sacrifice themselves for that. And it just gets the system. It doesn't save you. It just gets the system better, stronger. That is a profound statement. I mean, critics will say, oh, Michael's anti-capitalist. I'm sure you're going to hear no. some of that. No, no. I tell you what I am. I'm, I'm the anti-capitalist not the anti-capitalist. I'm for capital. I'm not believing into uh, rich to, to the poor, give taken from the rich. I don't believe in that at all. Well, that's what I'm believing. Yeah. yeah, I believe in. I believe what I believe in. See awareness, seeing that our financial principles are outdated, so old, because they create imbalance. They, it, because by doing more, better, faster, and cheaper, which cheaper makes no sense, because cheaper is just to make money. It's not to own, to, to hold money, because it's like just to get into market, you can become cheaper, and then you raise your prices. I think 
what's really missing in the, in the, in the, in the financial principles is enough. Like we have balance in nature, right? The balance balances itself out and we don't have enough. And because it's not valued in the financial principle, enough is not valued. We have no way of balancing systems. So systems keep just like, like you've programmed like a robot to keep on more, better, faster, more, better, faster. And ever, every human is valuable that can support that mission. That, that is completely default, flawed, and cannot work when we prove it to ourselves, but we blame humans that it doesn't work. See, this is the best thing of all. This is the best. Just blame other people. We are in this together. So even if you have all the rich people are 10% and the rest of, the, of humanity has nothing, they cannot escape because we have a swarm behavior where one affects another. It's like when you meet a, a, a friend and that, and that friend is in a bad mood. You pick it up. They cannot shield themselves that 90% of humanity suffers. That suffering is amplified because they have the money. Because there is no reason in, in their mind. There's no reason I should have everything. I live in the best parts of the world. We, we have that, own that, and everything. And we cannot get out of this. And that's the misunderstanding of system. System says... If I give you a Ferrari, if I give get you all the stuff, the system stuff, you are happy. And they believe it. So actually, the richest person, the most powerful person, are the most unaware people. Because they really think the more they own, the more they power they have yield, the more I think the less they have to suffer. And the more they suffer because they get more, the more they try to get more. It's just it's insanity and that's why we should never as humanity concentrate power in any way or form not in tech companies because 14 14 or 15 people decided about 6 million Jews imagine that and we have a very similar scenario right now in the power distribution of this world nobody on top knows better than all together because the power and the wisdom is in all. That's a very, very profound statement. I actually like it. It is the most sensible thing, you know, to someone who is not listening and they say, oh, this is crazy. But you know what? But you talk about conditioning, prop commercial propaganda, get you happy by getting all this stuff, the pills, the, oh, the better body, the better car, yeah. the better home. Or even have all the be all the better well smartphone. That's another thing. The eye, the best iPhone, yep. the best um, Android, the Galaxy, whatever. And the prices of those keep going up, which I got my own gripe. You know, I, you make a lot of sense that that does um, become ultra materialistic and very self conscious because you know you see the very the exceptional, like you said, the Kardashians, Elon yep. Musk, Mark Zuckerberg. Who's in it? Who's in it? Oh, Larry. I forget. Jeff the Bezos. Yeah. Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Now, I don't think about the one for, um, for Van. I think Larry Fink is his name. You know, yeah. he's, he's yeah. one of those very powerful people to influence in the country as well. You know, since we're not them, we feel like crap. Yeah. And shame that we cannot, because we feel, see, we feel with our six senses, the creative part. That they are humans too. This is what our feet, not the mind. The mind is is ego. It's it separates good, bad, right, wrong. But the feeling knows. So you know at the same time, why is this person system relevant? And you feel shame because you know you have the same limitless part of the whole. You are part, you are a puzzle of the whole. See, I try to, to solve everything natural or a uh, human centric. To solve the system, because our problems are 80% human problems, a system created. It's not that in nature, where do you see chaos in, in, in nature like that? Nowhere. We have created our own uh, metaverse of systems. And we, because of our misunderstanding, let's say financial principles, let's say, uh, uh, more is better, you know, and, and it's it comes all down to the financial principles. 
not to have money. Money is the greatest invention after the fire and the wheel because it is a sharing tool, a tool where the humanity can uh, contribute to the whole and can exchange uh, for money and, and then it can trade with each other. Otherwise, we need to still change a chicken against a hammer. And that, that that's not going to work. So, so it is the best thing. But the principle where you can make money with money, where you where you think you can take the uh, ownership of land and transfer it into the stratosphere of the internet, that's why I believe that anything that anybody uploads for free to promote themselves, it doesn't matter. If whatever you upload for free belongs to everyone. They can use it to have makes obviously because they're hosting it. They can use it to make advertising, but it belongs to humanity. It, nobody has the copyright. It's it's just if you upload it for free, that is your choice. You don't have to, but if you do that for free, it belongs to humanity because then at least you feel that I'm part of the the puzzle. I'm contributing, and and that is a wonderful thing. That's the first step, I think. Uh, that we don't repeat what we did on earth. Oof, I'm getting a lot. Listeners, I hope you're getting value out of this, especially those who feel like you're in the dumps because you don't have enough. You know, this is some valuable stuff. You're not sick, you're not ashamed. Nope. It's just you haven't found your spark, so to speak. You your haven't own found unique your spark. Yeah, you haven't found your human centric puzzle piece. You are driven by DNA to find. Life, that's what life is, to find my uniqueness in human, in humanity. But it's not finding systems because there's different rules in systems. If you're not a chess player, you're never going to get to be a chess player uh, unless you're a savant. You never get to be a, a, a chess champion. And Elon is a is a, is a chess champion in, in the system. Jeff is a, 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 a super, you know, he's a specialist. He's a specialist in system. And most of the people are not specialists because there's so many systems, the financial system, uh, the stock system, the the the, 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 the internet the system, system, the, system the, yeah. uh, religious systems. Right. There's so much to know. And that's why they need AI because, uh, but why would you make everybody all knowing? You don't need to be all knowing. You need to just focus on your, what is your contribution? Because the fulfillment if you're not religious, you're not going to find fulfillment in religion if you're not religious. If you have no tendency for spirituality, if you're not a tech guy, you're not going to find, uh, uh, you know, uh, being a, a technician for AI. You're not going to file your fulfillment. And fulfillment is the feedback loop that you're on the right path in the human centric finding your puzzle piece, not in the system set. Look, I have zero education. I'm completely self taught. And I found my I found my puzzle piece that I but I was fifty over fifty when I found it. I hit the wall. I was system relevant. I was arch commissioner of Newport Beach. I worked with Robert Emmons, who did The Godfather. I lived with him. I co-produced with him. I never was happy. I'm more happy talking to you right now than I ever was in in those system relevant jobs. Uh, uh, you know, and I made ex uh, exhibitions on international airports. I had all these things, uh, front covers of magazine. It didn't help me because I looked at what's next. It, even lack, again, lack and shame. What's next? Now I have this. Oh my God. I get now an extra because fame is an amplifier. I get extra fear now. So I'm, let's say I make a million. Now I get extra fear. How to do it the second million? And, you know, when you systemically make money, what are you saying? Now I have to change the house. Instead of a three-bedroom, you get a five-bedroom. Instead of a, a, a Honda Prius, you get a Ferrari. You you up all the time. You are in a game that can be won because it's a lag. And it's so rich. That's why you great when you go into, into nature. It's so rich. It's so fulfilling when you talk to other people talking to you is completely fulfilling to me even though you don't say a lot but that's your position that that is the best way how you contribute and 
I have been in, in discussion with two or three people didn't say a word. But when these two or three people weren't there, it was a different conversation. So we even in that, we cannot be separate. This is a funny thing, uh, Elias. When you go in the woods and you separate yourself from anything, you don't have a dog, nothing. You cannot be alone. You're such a social animal. You talk to yourself. You cannot be alone. It's Alone is a system construct uh, that says you always have to be with people. Now, why do people kill themselves that are superstars, that have people around them? I mean, that that's, that's because they believe the systemic hype. We need to stop believing the system. Systems are great. We need them. They help us to contribute to each other. But they have to be updated. They cannot work on financial principles. And so we got to be in the driver's seat of changes, as I said, the system manipulating us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we are the gods. Right. Elias, you and I. Mean, I even the Bible been... says, hey, you know what? A lot of people like to describe the Bible. The Bible says the same thing. We are gods with a little G, meaning that he gave us authority to create new systems. Exactly. Yeah. So, you yeah. Know, I, yeah. I'm a Christian, you know, by, by the far, I, I appreciate being a Christian. That's why I got to throw God in there, yeah. um, here and there. I, I don't want to be overtly religious because that will just turn me into yeah. a hypocrite by nature. I say, oh, you don't believe in God? No, I'm straight to hell. Oh, you know, I'm not that kind of person. You systemic. discover, systemic. yeah, that's a systemic. I said, oh, yes. you discover your path with the Lord, and you know what? And this is where it scares a lot of people. It's up to you. Yeah, it's entirely yeah. up to you. You're one of eight billion, and and your belief in God is completely mm -hmm. different than mine. And we, even if right. we are the same Catholics, if we go to same church. You and I, our relationship to God, to nature, to a business, to a culture is completely different. We totally deny. We think, oh, because I see it. And see, this is where the problem comes in with rulers, with people. Because they say, I see it out of their perspective. Therefore, I know what Michael and Elias need. That is complete, like a politician. That is the wrongest thing. And, and I just rely on, on statistics. You're wrong. Because nobody's the same. Eight billion people are all different. And therefore, systems can never be right. They can never fulfill what they promise. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. So I just want you to touch on neurodiversity just a little. I know you touched on it a little bit. Yeah. Just give a definition because some people don't. I mean, let's just be, I'm going to be very honest. I don't think some Americans get the general concept of neurodiversity. Um, the Democrats seem to have their own ideas and the Republicans yeah. just kind of just throw it out the window. So, Neurodiversity is a system jargon. Because again, we are 8 billion people and people that are not, uh, it, the opposite is neurotypical, meaning they're system uh, navigators. If you're a perfect system nav navigator, you're not neurodiverse, even though you might be, but you're not identified as such. So if you can't read, I'm neurodivergent, but if you can read and you do something else, you have different ADHD, you're not neurodivergent. So neurodiversion is hacking all those, the guy that can't re read, can't speak, stutters, uh, uh, forget things, uh, uh, jumps from one thing to another, autistic. It's packing all this because they have to generalize. Every system, it's like saying, uh, all Asian people are this way. All women are this way. Again, we trying to. Do, that's why I'm fighting. Actually, that we classify. We can use neurodiversity to educate people. Like I, you asking me a question, I I play it. But I don't want to make them special because that hurts every other human being. Now I have to be careful when I meet different race, a different gender, a different sexuality, a different a different. Uh, uh, neurodiverse or a combination of such. I mean, can you see how we can navigate systems when we have to adapt versus system make it right the first place and say everybody's a human and we have to help each other as good as we can. And you already explained about how you already, already touched on how neurodiversity could be so powerful if understood and applied correctly, yep. obviously. And the yep. way I see it to these parties, they I just 
throw my eye. I just give them a little eye roll because they got they they speak nonsense on on this issue, or at least for you know. Um, they speak jargon. They speak jargon. They speak like jargon, like race. Race has never. That's like saying had... all Latino people are good at salsa. Yeah, there exactly. Different, different yeah. dances within Latin culture. Yeah. There's the merengue. There's the bachata. All of yeah. that. And what is you know Wabanko, some humans are better. Than, yeah. yeah. Don't forget the wawanko. Yeah, wawanko. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh wow, I've heard that one in a while. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it, six you know, it's eight, true. six eight. That's the one. Uh, you know, or it could be. Um, let's see. Um, you know, it could be a particular African person who is good at um square dancing. You know, yeah. you, you never know. You never know. Or it could or, be one that has no rhythm. That oh, can oh yeah, them. yeah, yeah. There's that. I mean, I mean, it's it it's all possible because yeah. we are not the race, the gender, or the sexuality. We are just human that come in different form and shapes because we are by DNA different by have different fingerprints, have different uh, uh, eyes. We are unique and it doesn't help to, to, to group them. All black people, all women, all men, women with a 65, they try hard to be systemically accepted and they will never be, if they don't say from this day on, we are like every other human. There is no race. There is no gender. We just help each other. We are one human family that is united and help each other. And we, that doesn't mean you have to hug everybody. That doesn't mean you have to embrace everybody. No, you just are who you are. And we're all trying to make the best thing that we can. Now, that is going to get at least 60% of, of, of human problems out of the system. Can you imagine if we would engage each other as human and there's no systemic difference i mean can you imagine what this is like you're not looking looking at the beggar at at, at at fifth avenue and say oh look at this shit person there's no more the beggar has more influence on the people that walk by than you and i was the best podcast that we do because everybody that walks by that that homeless person says i can be in the same position because i'm playing the system game See, in nature, there wouldn't be a beggar. <laughs> it's, it's a system, I think. So all human shame and hurt and suffer is because we eliminate systems above us. And they have the answers. They are right. And once we get some money or get some relevance, because the, everybody wants to be relevant, because we are. See, this is the funny thing. We want to be system relevant. We can never be system relevant because we are human-centrically relevant as a puzzle piece. And we cannot transfer that into systems. And even if you're system relevant, tomorrow you're not. And you're gone. See, in human centricity, if you know who you are, if you know what's your, like, I'm a cedar and I'm path, path maker. So I'm I'm always looking in front and sticks to, put the stakes in and stuff. So people can make their choice, can make their decision. If you don't know that, if you don't know your human centric thing, you will never get it through the system because even if you reach it through the system by adapting like a crazy person, you know, tomorrow they go for the new, the new clothes and you gone. Oh, tomorrow, uh, Elias, Michael, you're the greatest today. Oh my God, I love you guys. And tomorrow we are oh, outdated. Nobody cares because the people yeah. look for the new. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And I always said that, you know, we humans are tree like trends, you know, you know, the Kardashians are very relevant right now, but there's going to be a time where people say, what? You still watch them? They are so 20 years exactly. ago. You know, so you still pay attention to them? No, pay attention to, I'm going to make up a name, XYZ Group. Yeah. That's where That's where it's at. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Card <laughs> Kardashians, all that. Oh, my God, screw that. And then if you say. And uh, you see, you see why that's so powerful? Yeah. Because we are DNA driven to be inclusive. So we know unconsciously we need each other. And when I say to you, oh, you're still in the Kardashians, I'm putting you out. And so that's why this has so much pull. The human centricity has almost more pull. And that's why people say, wow, I love what you're saying. Yeah, because I'm talking to you as a human. I'm not talking to you as how system relevant or irrelevant you are or how great or what you think. For me, it doesn't matter what you achieved in the system. It doesn't respond. 
that doesn't respond in, in, in what you are as a human. I found, and I, you, know, I, you know, I did a lot of podcasts. I found, like, like if they say tomorrow, do you want to talk to Elon Musk? I said, no. I have no desire. I know everything about him. I know everything system leak and, and privately, what could I learn from him? I am, I know he's neurodiverse, but other than that, I, it's not that he's a bad person. I'm not denying him, but I'm saying, why would I talk to somebody that is so exploited, like Jeff, like all of them, you know, are so exploited. I get more out talking to you about this. And that system, I'll misunderstand. We think because somebody's system relevant, I've met so many very system relevant people, artists, actors, industrialists, and I can talk two words with them because they're just system relevant. They just know how to play chess. But if I cannot talk to you as a person that plays the chess, the chess is irrelevant. See, this is this is the insanity. I'm yapping like this is the insanity. I mean, it's like you want to talk to the person like I, I know when I talk to musicians, I said, what makes you s- select this interest, this instrument? I don't care if you're a maestro. How, why did you select the saxophone? Why do you s- select a, a horn or, or, or a xylophone? Why, why did you accept that? You know, why, why, what made you what made you get into that? That is, for me, super interesting. I mean, I don't know many great artists that use a xylophone as a main instrument. That will be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, I was going my attention. I said, well, you yeah. know, normally I don't got a piano, a guitar, yeah. or even a trombone or a exactly, drum. Yeah. You know, but you xylophone, you, 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 you're, you're bigger you're than Taylor <laughs> You become big, you're bigger than Taylor Swift just because you have yeah. a xylophone. Now, that's a, that, yeah. that, that would, I'm, I'm just going to be curious. As I said, why super. are people, yeah. Yeah, it's I super. So why? Yeah. I said, I said, why? I don't get it. But, but there's so much in it because that's why you're curious. You wouldn't be curious if there was nothing into it. Remember these people that always say they have se- secrets and, and you know, they're always secretive and they have their hands in their pockets. I say, I can't tell you. I'm secretive. I talk to Navy SEALs. They are totally normal. They're not. Think- so I found exp- through experience that people that are very secretive have nothing to say. They just be secretive that people are interested in them. And it's just the most boring thing. Just be human. You don't have to give me your system secrets. Just be a human being. And people cannot do this anymore. They, they, they're incapable of pulling the system image out and says, who am I? I mean, I can give a great example. Um, the New York City culture, hustle and bustle and run. That gives very little time for them yeah. to connect at a very human level. Yeah. I mean, have you been, have, I'm assuming you've been to New York probably you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, so you know how how it is. Um, you know, it's still hustle and bustle. You know, very little time to talk with people. Um, a lot of it is business related conversations. Like you said, they're boring. It's just okay. We we do this. That's it. We're done. Okay, we got nothing human to talk about. Okay, I was a kid, the so weather and all of that, or even small talk. You know, right. sometimes we don't even do that because we're too busy with the smartphone and all that. I mean, smartphone has um. Made, are you are you from that. New York? Are you from? Yeah. In, I don't know. Yeah. So, but but that's that's an interesting. Thank you. See, I would have never thought about this. So you you said so. I think that systemically, humans adapt to the system, and the system right. in New York, if you you need to get food twenty four hours, you need to that is the system requires it. So the, humans need to be fed, thing. But and also so much human soul comes out of it. The talk. Don't are you talking to me? That that it is so much uh the whole Italian thing, the whole Jewish thing, the whole culture that that's puzzled is always pushed against each other, is creating their individuality in that system by adapting. And then you have to adapt because if you don't adapt to whatever you are, you know, Latino, Italian, whatever, it makes you stronger in the system, in that in that system where every everybody puzzles. So it's bad and it's good. It's bad yeah. and good. But awareness, if we spread the awareness, it's, what are we doing? Why don't we say hi to each other? Why don't we, you know, you know, have a little conversation or whatever? Then it, it, it's the awareness that we get. It's the experiential uh, 
the, exp the experiential knowledge that you integrate, that you understand why you are the way you are. And when, when people do this in all their communities, why are the Jewish Jews? Why are the, you know, the, why are the Jewish Jewy or whatever they call themselves? The Mexicans that way, the Puerto Ricans that way. Why are they this way? And what is the, because everybody contributes some wonderful thing. I would have, I mean, without Jews, I, I would have hated the world. They contribute so much with the entertainment, with the way they are. Italians, the same way. There is no, I like them better than that. It's just, I love to listen to salsa and play. I'm a percussionist. So I love every culture. The more you get in the culture, the more you get out of it. And it's wonderful because everybody contributes. And obviously we can all contribute by doing the best that we can. So being the best janitor, being the best, whatever it is, CEO, but then you can, not like the other janitor, not right. like the other. I can be the best Puerto Rican, but not like the other Puerto Rican. You, you understand not to compare yourself. I can only be the Puerto Rican that I can, or me, American or Austrian. I can only be the best Austrian that I can be, the best American that I can be. I cannot be the best American compared to others. That's system talk again. We go we, where you pivot from, you can be the best janitor, that you can be into, I can be the best janitor in the system. That is irrelevant. It's the, 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 the value is being the best that you can be. That That's where you find fulfillment. That's why you find a happy life. That's why you think the best that you can be and not comparing yourself with anybody. Yep, no, that's, that, that is profound. Um, listeners, I really hope, not hope, you need to get this. This is very, very different. I have certainly learned something from it. Just because I'm a host doesn't mean I'm all-knowing. Again, we're human beings. We're imperfect by nature. But I do enjoy, um, even though I was mostly listening, but I did learn a lot. It's, see, when I listen, I'm trying to gather value. I know you have some valuable to say. Um, you know, or else this interview would have been cut short already. It was, if it's 30 minutes yeah. or less, that means it wasn't as interesting. But you already provide so many lovely insight and we radically change some people's thinking because we just mold ourselves to the system. Okay, I gotta be the best. Yeah, um compared to that. To, yeah, yeah, best I, best times, the best timekeeper, the best um the best CEO. I gotta make the most money, I gotta get the biggest house. I gotta have a house with twenty bedrooms and two hundred bathrooms. You know that kind yeah. of. Yeah. Don't I won't be surprised. Probably in, in the year three thousand, probably have a house like that already. If, if we keep yeah. this up, or you yeah. know, or, or I gotta have ten cars. Oh, the other oh no, I gotta have twenty cars. And yeah. then, and then even even with dates, oh, I gotta have twenty girlfriends. Oh, I gotta have thirty boyfriends. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's so much more so is much better. More is yeah. better systemically, but not in human centric. And you see. Why you learn so much is because I keep it on the human centric side. I'm not talking system talk. I'm not saying, "Hey, you want to get more uh, uh, profit re rent, uh, reliability or whatever." I'm, we're not talking about that. We're talking about why are we doing in systems as human? Why are we doing that? And we have forgotten over generations of systemic uh, conditioning that we are the gods of systems. We believe we can change it, you know? And, but we, at the same time, we can't even make a weather forecast for tomorrow. See, it, it, this is where, when nature gives us a little hint, I said, hey, you guys, you think you know it all. You can't even predict that, you know? Right. You couldn't predict right. the pandemic. You couldn't predict the, the war. You So systems say, oh, we predict that because system works in the future. If, if I can implant with you, that you're going to have hope, then you're going to buy my product. If I say you can be tomorrow Chinese, if you put that on, you want to have a Chinese girlfriend, you're going to put that stuff on because it gives you the hope that you have a chance with the Chinese girlfriend. So it's just, it, it, it's bullshit. It's completely, and we eat it now because it's nobody's fault. It's nobody to blame. It's neither Republicans or Democrats. It is nobody to blame. See, you got to own Blame is a system, is a system tool. The more we blame, the more systems stay static and 
antiquated. We gotta stop blaming. We gotta stop saying they are better than us. We are better worse than them. Oh yeah, us say, versus them mentality, right? Yeah, yeah. We are one human family. That doesn't mean we like each other. That doesn't mean we we uh, we have to kiss each other or procreate with each other. We we are one human family. And you learn from the haters and you learn from the lovers. And once we get that, being the best that we can be, we can be, not compared to, this world can change tomorrow. You know, change comes like that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So let me just do some shameless plug-in to get your <laughs> value. Yep. Um, so I got to play along with the system here. You know, this has been a wonderful, enlightening conversation. I, true listeners, absorb this for a great revolution, the inner revolution, I should say. That's going to manifest outward, especially if implemented um, well. I mean, he already has a book out. Um, I'm sure he's touched a little bit on this. The smart of art with a rhyme. The smart of art. It's on Amazon. You know, the 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 biggest bookstore in the world. <laughs> the biggest. And then he has a podcast that's 30 seconds long. If you can't spare 30 seconds, your life is really chaotic. The smart of art, the power of art and creativity. Okay. So new art talk about human beings, most valuable power, art, and creativity. 30 seconds long. All right, an average. 30 seconds long. So like mine, that's from 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even an hour. It's very short. It's very, very short. 30 seconds. <laughs> so, so, and I will put the link of the book, the podcast description, on the video, and on the audio as well. They're going to be in there. And for some reason, YouTube's not making it clickable. But on Rumble and Acast, it'll be clickable in real time. And, and MichaelM.com. If you if you just want to find me, you can just put MichaelM.com. Michael with two L's. So MichaelM.com. Yep. And Michael with Michael two L's. Michael with a double L, people. So yep. that differentiates him for the other, other Michaels. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and we can do this. Alas, we are so good in dancing. We can do this anytime on any topic. So if your listeners want to ask questions or say how... Because as you see, the people say, oh, what should we do? I said, there's nothing to do. We are already the best that we can. We just are not conscious of it. There's no five steps, three steps, read 15 books. My book is not going to get you into the thing. My book makes you understand creativity and art, but it doesn't make you what we talked about today. So I invite you, if you're interested and that resonates, that talk that we just had, just re-listen to this episode and not like 10 times. So listen, listen in two months again and see what you integrate, what I understand more. Because I know I rattle on and I put a lot, a lot, a lot in, into this episode. So um, just just listen to you get it. I do it myself. When I see an episode of a podcast, I listen to it three, five times because I didn't get everything. I didn't. I want to integrate it into me, especially if it resonates with me. If I think, oh, my God, these guys were great. I need to listen to this again. All right. Yep, absolutely. And it helps me become, ironically, a little system relevant. Yes. <laughs> so, we all are. I, 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 alas, I mean, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not free of free system relevance because yeah. we need to navigate in systems, right. but but being aware of it and navigating is a big difference. Right. Being not aware of it. Yeah. That's very true. Very true. All right. Is anything else? I I think you already added no. so much. Yeah. yeah. This is great. This has been phenomenal. God willing. I definitely want to have you back because I there's definitely at least one other thing we could talk about, especially with the AI stuff. Mm -hmm. So I will try to reach out to you again, probably sometime next year, depending how, yeah. depending how things go. Whenever, so, whenever. Unless it happens, when it happens, we are not in charge of, of, of everything. It's, stuff happens. 
stuff brought us together and will bring us together again. And also you didn't talk about the false. When you detangle falsehood and lies in your brain and said, oh my God, I am, I'm really not that bad. You know, I'm one of one. And I got to take care of me and figure out who I am that I can contribute to humanity, not to system. And then I will know where, how to uh, contribute through systems. That made you just knowing that helped me so much when I got that. Yeah, it's definitely revolutionizing thinking. You're kind of just flipping the stuff, thinking upside down. Like, yeah. We got yeah. to put the human thinking on top. So that that's yeah. amazing. All righty then. Listeners, whatever you at, you have a blessed day, afternoon, or night.